Did you get tricked into doing a commercial by a Frosty Cream cold brew? AI ordering, free Frosties, new menu items and disappearing favorites, and Baconator tunnels? Here are 24 big changes that are coming to Wendy's in 2024. Choose wisely, what, what, what does that mean? I don't know, Morty. That the Pretzel Baconator. Well, I like pretzel day. Anyone who's dipped a Wendy's fry into their Frosty knows the joy of discovering how two great tastes can taste great together. And our first big change for 2024 finally brings us a mashup of two of the restaurant's most popular items. The Baconator took the fast food world by storm in 2007, selling a tasty 25 million units in its first two months on the menu, on the way to selling 68 million burgers during its first 10 months. Looks like meat's back on the menu! Meanwhile, the limited-time offer pretzel bun debuted in 2013. And while it comes and goes, it has been seen lately on the Pretzel Bacon Pub Cheeseburger. The Pretzel Baconator is a combination of the two, and is basically a double Baconator with a bun upgrade, featuring the pillowy pretzel bun. Just in time for the new year, the Pretzel Bun Baconator was released at the end of 2023, and is primed for pretzel popularity as a new menu item throughout 2024. How can I be productive if I have this one little thing in my brain? And that one little thing is a soft pretzel. Ghost pepper gone. Mm, I'm very hot. As they say in the westerns, This town ain't big enough for the two of us. It's a law of nature that also applies as a rule in fast food. When something disappears, a new and exciting thing should pop up to replace it. So with the arrival of the new pretzel baconator alongside its chicken and french fry variants means the retirement of another long-standing lineup staple, the ghost pepper pear. For more than half of 2023, Wendy's Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich had been a menu mainstay, paired up with its sidekick of ghost pepper fries. While the fries simply added a spicy fry sauce, the sandwich added even more heat to the standard spicy chicken filet from the ghost pepper ranch sauce, ghost pepper infused cheese, and ghost pepper seasoned onions. The phase out was completed in late 2023, although this spicy little number might mosey back into town for a showdown with your taste buds when you least expect it. You think you're so hot? Nacho Libre. Did you not tell them that they were the Lord's cheeps? A change to the line of Wendy's old-fashioned hamburgers arrived in late 2023, setting the stage for football season with a take on a classic dish from your local sports bar. Primed for popularity in 2024, the loaded nacho cheeseburger adds a Mexi-inspired flair to Wendy's usual fare, and you'll likely require a siesta after conquering one. Loaded up with a signature poblano pepper queso, it also features melted cheese, spicy corn, chipotle sauce, and crunchy tortilla strips to mimic the bite of a nacho platter. Lettuce and tomato add freshness, and the whole thing is rounded out with a jalapeno cheddar bun. Mm, sounds delicious! The press release from Wendy's pictures the loaded nacho cheeseburger as a combination of two great American tailgating classics, nachos and cheeseburgers, and has dubbed the loaded nacho cheeseburger as a total flavor touchdown. And you'll get to enjoy all the great tastes of tailgating without the hassle of painting your face in the team colors. Don't you want to leave a taste of the glory? Mexi Mania. My brother Juan, my other brother Juan, oh. Juan Jr. The addition of the loaded nacho cheeseburger brought with it the option to expand the menu using the new nacho tastic ingredients that came along with it, and both of them make excellent additions to the tailgate team. Yay, team! For those who don't want to make the extra trip to Taco Bell for a south of the border spin on their side dish, they have the option of now grabbing queso fries from Wendy's. Smothered in that same poblano queso as the burger, and featuring the shredded cheddar that tops the familiar Wendy's chili, this addition is adjacent to the taste you'd get from Taco Bell's nacho fries, although Wendy's doesn't carry the hot sauce packets that the competition does. For those who want to stick to the loaded nacho in sandwich form but might be cutting back on red meat consumption, the option exists to swap out that iconic square single patty for the breaded chicken breast that's usually found on the classic chicken sandwich. However, it won't be available with the grilled chicken breast filet that was a Wendy's staple for many years, as it is part of another big menu change. Let's just run away! Some places that, that no one would ever think to find us. 
Mexico. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, everybody. While Burger King may have been the first to introduce a grilled chicken sandwich to the fast food kingdom in 1990, Whoa. Wendy's wasn't far behind. They introduced the grilled chicken sandwich just six months later, and it was a fan favorite for anyone who popped into Wendy's looking for something a little lighter. Shakespeare did write that all good things must come to an end, however, and the grilled chicken was slowly phased out starting last year before being officially cut in August. You're off the team. This means that stores no longer carry non-breaded chicken breast fillets, which means they're no longer freshly sliced to be added to salads and wraps. In their place for 2024 is herb-marinated grilled chicken that has been chopped and diced, and it can be found on the previously mentioned grilled chicken cob salad, as well as on another new menu item, the grilled chicken ranch wrap. With the 2016 discontinuation of McDonald's chicken snack wrap after a decade-long run, Wendy's is attempting to fill that void with this new addition. In addition to the chicken chunks, it also features that famous Wendy's shredded cheddar alongside crisp romaine lettuce, and the whole wrap gets a douse of ranch. Surprise ranch attack! Lovely lemonade. We want two large glasses of lemonade. Breaking the mold from the cola-centric fountains of fast food years gone by, Wendy's line of Dave's Craft Lemonades has been a hit with customers for several years now. Although Sunburst Melon was discontinued, standard selections include the tropical blend of pineapple mango lemonade, the puree-infused strawberry lemonade, and the untouchable original all-natural lemonade. I'll tell you what I want fresh squeeze. After a brief summer test drive last year, a new addition has stuck around for 2024, blueberry pomegranate lemonade. The tart and sweet combination rounds out a trio of new lighter flavors like the cob salad and chicken wrap, and will certainly be adding a pop of color and crisp taste to your drink breaks this year. The lemonade tricked me and got away! A frosty favorite returns. So feel free to freak out. Lemonade is an excellent summer treat, but it'll never measure up to the original Wendy's dessert. The Frosty was one of the original five items on the Wendy's menu and has remained so popular that today the company slings more than 300 million of them every year. Landing somewhere between soft serve ice cream and a milkshake, it was Dave Thomas's vision that Frosties mimic old-school sick milkshakes that needed spoons instead of straws. Aside from the original, variations like the Frosty Parfait, Frosty Waffle Cone, Strawberry Frosty Shake, Twisted Frosty, and even the Frosty Float have come and gone over the history of this unique treat. They come and they go, Hobbs. They come and they go. But in 2024, an all-time fan favorite will finally make its way out of retirement. The debut of the Vanilla Frosty in 2006 was the first time in the then 36-year run of the original Frosty that a new flavor had been introduced. After successful test runs the year prior in five different markets, including Pittsburgh, Portland, and San Antonio, the much-anticipated return kicked off the new year with a bang, being released nationwide on January 4th of 2024, and will no doubt be satisfying our sweet tooth as the calendar keeps turning. So if you need your Frosty fix, we got you. A free Frosty for a good cause. That is for a good cause. The original price of a Frosty was 35 cents when it debuted in 1969. And even though that's a great deal, Wendy's is rolling out an even lower price tag 55 years later. Free! Back when the old school Wendy's Super Value menu was still around, the best selling Frosty size was the 12 ounce cup that sold for just 99 cents. But with a new promotion rolling in for a new year, we expect another small serving size is about to become even more popular offering Frosty fans a free Junior Frosty every day throughout 2024, you could get your hands on a Frosty key tag for $3 until Valentine's Day. Ownership of a tag gets you a free Junior-sized Frosty with any purchase for the rest of the year, and the satisfaction of that sweet dessert will only be matched by the satisfying feeling of being charitable, since all proceeds go towards the Dave Thomas Foundation for Adoption. It's for the greater good. Frosty key tags can be purchased on the Wendy's app or in-store, confirming that the only thing that tastes better than a Frosty is a free Frosty. Did you say Frosty Key Tag? Key Tag! New to Babble Top? Then how about hitting that subscribe button? It's quick, it's easy, and it's free as a Frosty, with no purchase required. Thanks. Thank you.
The four for four is no more. Why would they change math? When it comes to mixing and matching, that option will stop and go out the drive through window permanently. The Wendy's four for four dollar deal burst on the scene in 2015, offering customers a four piece of chicken nuggets, value sized fountain drink, and a small fries, and the choice of eight different entree options to finish off the combo. It could get a little stressful with two kinds of chicken wraps to choose from, as well as six burgers, including the double stack cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, crispy chicken sandwich, and crispy chicken BLT. Great fifth option! Let's work on the first four! Eventually simplified and rebranded as the four for four meal deal, the options became set in stone as junior fries, four piece nuggets, value sized drink, and a junior cheeseburger. However, the simplicity killed the interest and the deal disappeared once 2023 did. January 1st marked the first day of the new year and the first official day of the change, leaving room for only one number four, the one found in 2024. Happy New Year! Biggie is back. Bag alert, bag alert. Instead of the New Year's resolution being out with the old, in with the new, it's out with the old and in with the old as a value favorite makes a comeback. McDonald's first rolled out the supersize menu options in the summer of 1987, and as usual, Wendy's responded in kind by ushering in their Biggie size version for the 1990s. The Biggie and Great Biggie upsizes for fries and drinks lived up to their name, with the largest fountain drinks packing almost as much Biggie beverage as three cans of soda. Super Size was officially shrunk from the McDonald's menu in 2004, while the Biggie line was discontinued in 2006. But bringing the name back under the $5 Biggie bag promotion for the last few years has now led the way to a new wave of Biggies taking over the burger scene in 2024. Biggie. Bigger, better Biggie bags. Bag boys. Bag boys, what you gonna do? Don't. What you gonna do? Don't. The $5 Biggie bag in its current form will officially replace the four for four. Adding an extra dollar to the price adds the old option of picking an entree, so you'll still get the four piece nuggets, small drink, and small fries no matter what. Now you can select from the timeless junior bacon cheeseburger or the double stack as the square patty beef based options or the new addition of a crispy chicken sandwich. And now, in the tradition of the original deal, you can biggie size your biggie bag. So big! The upsized $6 Biggie bag still includes the fries and nuggets, but the extra dollar gives you the choice of two upgraded burgers as an entree. The bacon double stack adds applewood smoked bacon to the pair of patties on the regular double stack, while the crispy chicken BLT adds tomato, American cheese, and bacon to the crispy chicken. They say bigger is better, and in this case, Biggie is better too. I want it super big! Mix and match. Feel free to mix and match. In addition to Biggie Bags, the spirit of the 4 for 4 meal deal lives on with its new replacement, the 2 for $6 meal deal. This version ups the price by $2 and drops the number of items down to 2 out of a total of 6 options to pick from. With the move to push the new Biggies, Wendy's still needed a multi-option value menu to compete in the marketplace. We need something big. Both Taco Bell and McDonald's have had them since 2018 when they introduced the Taco Bell $1 to $5 mix and match cravings menu and the McDonald's $1-2-3 menu. Most recently, the 2022 rollout of Burger King's Mix and Match $5 Your Way meal meant the King had also entered the fray. Wendy's was stuck, knowing that even with the changes coming in 2024, they still have to provide customers a cheap way to choose. That's where the $2 for $6 meal deal fits in, offering the ability to mix two or double up on a favorite from four choices. The iconic Dave single, a chicken sandwich in either classic or spicy, 10-piece nuggets, or a medium Dave's Craft lemonade to wash it all down with. Could you maybe draw something that could help us? Are you serious? I drew this. Grill and chill. Like I had to pretend to be impressed by Quagmire's new big green grill? It's not a stretch to say all the new changes to the menu would require a new method to cook them, and Wendy's was ahead of the curve on that one. Around one-fifth of all Wendy's locations across the USA have upgraded their burger grills, with more than 1,000 restaurants having moved to the new DSG 2.0 grills. These high-tech hamburger helpers are manufactured by Garland, and DSG stands for double-sided grill, which doubles the efficiency of kitchens. Let's get grilling! 
These clamshell-style grills are a modernized take on the open-faced traditional grills of the past and reduce patty cook times by almost half, dropping them to 80 seconds from the previous 155. Touchscreen USB interfaces, Wi-Fi monitoring and diagnostics, and smart temperature controls across five heat zones are just some of the futuristic features on Garland's DSGs that are bringing Wendy's cooking methods into a new reality for a new year. You don't put burgers on a grill of this quality. AI drive through I will find these tech companies who are trying to use OpenAI for their own games. Imagine heading out to cure a case of the munchies in a car where artificial intelligence wasn't only driving the car but also taking the order at the drive-thru. No, it's not a biggie-sized episode of Black Mirror. It's just the convenient tech upgrades of the modern age. Research started in October 2021 and was finally coming to fruition in 2023. And Wendy's franchises will finally get to test drive artificial intelligence drive throughs this year. Well, it was bound to happen sooner or later. And the years in the making partnership with Google already has four AI drive throughs powered by Google Cloud software in operation at four company-owned locations that will soon branch out to franchisees. Practical testing has shown the computer-ran ordering system to be 22 seconds faster than average and able to complete 86% of orders without needing help from a human employee. Just don't let that AI gain a Terminator-esque sentience or it could be Hasta la vista. Baby. For your hamburgers. What is my purpose? Pass the butter. The next generation. The amazing technology you both brought us. The exciting new restaurant concept is called Should Global Next Gen, and the company was quoted as wanting a sleek and modern standard for all the new designs to modernize the fast food experience. The first restaurant began construction on December 13, 2023 in New Albany, Ohio, and is set to open for business in 2024. Other first-in-the-line locations for Global Next Gen are in Oklahoma and Kansas. I know that you're going to do big things someday. All told, there are over 200 Wendy's restaurants featuring the new and improved designs ready to fire up the grills and open to the public throughout 2024. The addition of the new upgraded grills, artificial intelligence drive throughs and designated climate targets will help make the global next-gen locations both energy efficient and more sustainable. But they also hope to do the same for the business model. Cutting out the clutter in transactions by embracing the digital age will ideally keep existing customers happy and draw in new ones, and the design of each global next-gen Wendy's has a few different ways to do just that. Big things are coming! Order up! What is ready? Diversifying the entire purchase experience is key to Global Next Gen. Tinkering with processes at the point of purchase, ordering, and pickup. The entire customer experience is streamlined, with interior improvements like self-order touchscreen kiosks and the addition of pass-through delivery and mobile shelves, making takeout a breeze for both digital customers and staff members. Order up! With the prevalence of app and mobile orders, the exterior of stores will have dedicated walk-up windows for couriers and dedicated parking spots in the parking lot for them as well. Customers keeping it old school with the traditional drive through will now see larger orders move to dedicated waiting spaces to keep the rest of the line moving. And for those that do end up waiting, there will be the inclusion of employee-only side doors to the restaurant to get orders directly out to waiting spots as fast as possible. What's taking them so long? Delicious digital dining. That's right. We've brought the power of digital labels to food service. Focusing the global next-gen system on digital ordering is not only good for functionality and efficiency, it's also for keeping up with trends. Delivery and takeout are bigger than ever, with 60% of customers across America ordering out at least once a week every week. Order food on the phone, eh? And statistics show that big business is also worth big money, as 34% of consumers tend to order at least $50 worth of food when ordering online. And 20% of consumers say they spend more while doing so than if they were ordering off a menu while sitting in a dine-in restaurant. Wendy's itself did $1.5 billion dollars of digital sales in 2023 and will likely surpass that with the increase from the global next-gen rollout, since the new systems can handle 400 times the digital and mobile traffic of the old standard designs. That's business? Boom it! High-speed hamburgers. Really? Your speed? Dan Francesco is triple speed. 
It's not just the ordering systems that are going to see capacity increases. The hands-on practice of actually cooking and assembling your food is moving into the future, too. Wendy's is already planning an upgrade that will surpass even Global Next Gen with an ultra-efficient kitchen model dubbed the Global Next Gen High Capacity Kitchen that will be utilized in locations with the highest customer traffic. I gotta go fast. The company has estimated it to be 50% more efficient than even the standard global next-gen kitchens, with a unique dual-sided blueprint, larger prep areas, dedicated digital ordering areas, and counter space dedicated specifically to sandwich making. The floor layout also reduces the distance employees have to reach, move, or walk to complete tasks, maximizing the flow of foot traffic and utilization of square footage. Speed! That's the name of the game! The need for speed. I feel the need. The need for speed. All this focus on making the service at Wendy's more effective and efficient comes with a good reason. For many years, the service was the exact opposite of fast food. An industry-wide survey released in October 2022 painted a grim picture for Wendy's that has inspired all this change, when a third-party study of 1,500 major fast food drive throughs showed some serious decline at the Wendy's drive through window. Bad news, bad news. Even when it's good news, it's bad news. The wait time at Wendy's was 20% percent longer than the prior year's average, ultimately giving them the slowest speed of all surveyed restaurants. Wendy's also had one of the lowest order accuracies, managing to mess up 20 percent of the time. Between the long wait and incorrect orders when they finally arrived, Wendy's naturally had the lowest customer satisfaction scores, too. After this disaster, it's no wonder getting better and faster became the goal for 2024. Faster, faster, faster will be better! Subterranean sandwiches. Someone at work ate my sandwich. Pretty soon, another innovation in the works might soon see your Baconator traveling under the ground instead of over it. Wendy's announced in the spring of 2023 that it has partnered with a Texas-based startup tech company called Pipe Dream to perfect an instant delivery system that would move food from the kitchen to the customer via underground tunnels. It's a crazy plan. You're a crazy plan! A combination of parking lot kiosks and automated delivery drones that would navigate the underground maze would ideally eliminate the above ground hassles of things like doors, curbs, windows, watching out for moving vehicles, and employees just plain using their hands or feet to transport anything. While it sounds complicated, it seems there's no price too high for Wendy's to increase efficiency, and putting the system into practice is the only way to know if they're ultimately digging delivery tunnels or just digging a grave for their sales numbers. But will it soar? That's another question. Rise and shine. Rise and shine! Wendy's has been back in the breakfast game for a while now, but a pair of recent additions bring a change to the most important meal of the day. The company first experimented with breakfast in 1985 with some fancier morning options including a scrambled egg platter, french toast, and four different made-to-order omelets, but eventually bowed out of the breakfast game due to competition. 35 years later, Wendy's set their alarm clock and were up and at them to jump back in the breakfast game in 2020. Time for breakfast. That original rollout included 18 menu items, but four years later, there are a couple of new players to wake up with. These entries target the competition at McDonald's by setting foot in the English muffin market. While the Egg McMuffin has run that arena since debuting back in 1972, Wendy's new challengers are the Bacon Egg and Cheese English Muffin Sandwich and Sausage Egg and Cheese English Muffin Sandwich. True to tradition, the sausage patty is square just like Dave's Timeless Burger Patty and is set to be a staple throughout the year, just like its beefy burger brothers. <sighs> With the perfect egg sandwich. Breakfast bundles. Nonsense, young lady. You're gonna start your day off with a nice big breakfast. Not only are there a couple extra choices to make on your morning commute, but the way you order them will be a little different, too. Wendy's was the first to give customers a mix-and-match option when it pioneered the fast food dollar menu in 1989 under the Super Value Menu banner. And the tradition continues on the Wendy's breakfast menu with new two-for-three-dollar Biggie bundles. That's a good deal. A choice from four options includes a pick-me-up of a medium-sized hot coffee, 
coffee, the egg and cheese biscuit, the sausage biscuit, and a small-sized order of skin-on seasoned potatoes. But once breakfast is worn off and it's time for your lunch break, you might see that the deals on the all-day menu are seeing a few changes of their own, too. And we're not calling it the Reggie bag? Oh, no. Salivating over salad. What are you doing? Your salad is Asgard. No. Since Wendy's is well known for its old-fashioned hamburgers, it's easy to forget that they're one of the leaders when it comes to salads. While the competition at McDonald's rolled out its first salad in 1987, they didn't truly commit to it until a full leafy lineup entered the menu in 2005. At Wendy's, however, they were well ahead of the curve when they first introduced a salad bar in 1979. Not long after, the taco salad was officially made a menu staple in 1982 and was a big hit throughout the 1980s and 1990s, being briefly discontinued before a 2016 comeback. With a history of slinging veggies, the current lineup includes that iconic taco salad, as well as the Parmesan Caesar salad and apple pecan salad. And a new addition from the 2023 summer menu has proven to be a healthy hit and is poised for a takeover in the new year, the grilled chicken cob salad. Everything was so delicious. The result of testing more than 40 different recipes, this new take includes all the cob classics like applewood smoked bacon, diced egg, crispy fried onions, and diced tomatoes on top of that namesake grilled chicken. By now, we've long since given up on our New Year's resolutions, but getting in a few extra veggies via the grilled chicken cob salad still might be considered a win. What big salad? I'm going to the coffee shop. But I have big salad. Green machine. Spoken! Climate initiatives are the wave of the future, and at Wendy's, the goal of going green is already in the works. Wendy's had previously pledged to have company-wide science-backed emissions reduction targets set by the end of 2023. And now that the deadline has come and gone, they're putting those projects into action. The overall goal is a 47% reduction of total greenhouse gas emissions for Wendy's by the end of the decade. This will be accomplished by reducing both direct pollution from company vehicles and direct pollution from brick-and-mortar buildings like restaurants and corporate offices, and also from outside sources that Wendy's still has a hand in, like purchasing third-party products and services from more sustainable providers. But the bulk of the effort starts at the heart of Wendy's business, and a vast restaurant revamp is in the works that will revolutionize the way the company does business. Maybe it's time for a little change. Order up another great video. Just tap or click. Thanks for watching.